Hi everyone, welcome back to the my channel. My name is Anil. In the last video, we learned about the series. What is that and how we can make it, how we can call it. And in this API, we will learn that how we can call the API with the service. And keep in mind that we will also learn what is a service and how we can call it, how we can make it. We will learn everything about the service from the very scratch. All right. So now the first question is that what is the service? So service is basically singleton classes in the Angular and they can be instantiated only once in our complete application. Services are basically used for sharing the common data, sharing the common functions, even we, we can just make the common APIs also here. And we will also just doing the same thing in the video. All right. So now, first of all, uh, let's make a service. So let's open a sideline also so that you can see that where new files are creating. So the two new file files will be creating inside the app. All right. So just run a command here with the ng g4 generate and service and we can just write here post posts because uh, why i just take the name of post uh, okay these are the two files that is uh, created generated here all right because my api will provide the post data all right all right this is not a post request this is a post like facebook post and all all right so here you can see that there is a lots of post uh, with the title and body user id and id we will see everything in the uh, we will fetch everything in the our api also right so this is the basically open url for this api there is a no token required and you can also use this api in your computer link is given uh, in the description box all right so after doing this let's check out the two these files so this is the service file and this is a service testing file all right so first of all uh let's import the two things one inside the service and one inside the uh, app dot module which is uh, uh, we are just importing the http module just import something from angular common and http all right so just find here http client like this all right and just copy the same line and let's go inside the app dot module and here we have to just find out the http client module okay right and just choose this module inside the imports like this okay so after this let's come back to the our service and just define a url here all right so url can be this so just define like this here now inside the constructor let me make instance of http client so just write here http and we can just write here http client and it can be kind of private yep all right now just make a function here let's say uh, get post posts all right so here you can just return uh, this dot http dot get and inside the get let's pass the url this dot url or this dot url all right that's it now we have to use or import this service inside the component so let's come back to the our app dot component dot ts file and here just import the service import something from uh, post service all right and we what we are going to import here post service now let's uh, also instantiate this service so let's say we can just make uh, her posts and uh, just uh, declare a type of private all right uh, it will be simply private all right and we can just change the post to the post data or something like this and oh that's my bad actually i don't have to define here here i have to just make a constructor and here i have to just define here then all right uh, last one was was my bad now we can just call this service here so just use like this dot post data and uh, here i can just provide the method name which is the uh, get urls 
and after that we can subscribe it subscribe and subscribe have a callback function in this callback function we can pass the result like this All right and let's uh, use the console dot warn or log whatever you want the result All right and let's check it out what we are getting in this i hope we fetch data successfully uh, uh we have just some issue let me check why showing this yeah, there is nothing wrong i just refresh it and it's working fine all right so okay now you can see that we got the data but how we can show them in the html list so now let's go for it so for now let's take a variable uh, let's take a property name with data all right it can be uh, any type of data all right so and now uh, just assign this result to this data variable or property data is result perfect now let's come to the html screen uh, html page and just define here jewel inside just define li and inside the li we can just uh, simply use the ng for loop ng for and it can have let item from item of data item of data and now let's just print here uh, item dot title and now let's see what we are getting here yeah now you can see that we got the title if you don't know how we just get the title then the title is here right we just rendered it with, it with the for loop and title is here if you just want to show the body then you can just write here body and you will get the data of all complete bodies here like this all right so i hope you just get that how we can use the um, api with the service if you still have any kind of confusion you can ask me in the comment box don't forget to subscribe my channel and like this video bye bye take care